If you haven't watched my basic internet troubleshooting video, please watch it first because it might solve your problem before this video does. Do you have Wi-Fi connection issues? Continue watching to find out how to fix them. Before we start, we must make sure that a service called Wireless LAN Auto Configure is running. To get to services, you will either press Windows key and R, which will pop up this menu, or you can go to Start Menu and click Run right here. When you get to this menu, you will type Services. Dot msc once there click ok and you will pop open this window now scroll to the bottom you should see a service called wireless LAN auto config if this service isn't running Double click it. And make sure it's on automatic startup. And with, without having to start your computer, you can just press start. Now that service is running. Now, when you come down here, you can find Wi Fi hotspots. Instead of before, it was disconnected. In Windows XP, you will see a similar service called Wireless Zero Configuration. That's what you want enabled and started for Windows XP. If Windows is not the default wireless viewer for your computer, you will not see this little icon in the bottom, and you will not be able to view your networks through Windows like this. To make wireless networking the easiest, it's best to remove it by going to Start Menu, Control Panel, then Add and Remove Programs. And remove the program managing your wireless right now. Windows makes it the easiest to manage wireless networks. To make Windows default, you can go to Start Menu. Connect to, show all connections, find your wireless adapter that you are using, right click, go to properties. Once in properties, you will go to wireless networks, and you, it says use Windows to configure my wireless network settings. Make sure that's enabled and click OK. Your driver should already be installed if you are using your other software and it might need a restart once enabling but once enabled you should be able to see your wireless networks through this little icon down here. Like that. Go to wherever you're going to normally be connected through Wi-Fi to your internet. This is in my dining room about 40-50 feet through about three walls across my house. And I'm still getting about four bars of single. If you look right here. Reasons why, it, there, I have no interference right now and I even have a Wi-Fi extender on my router. Those, will, the Wi-Fi extender is gonna be in a separate video soon. So look towards that and it does really help. It can get about at least not a bar of single. Things that cause interference can be microwaves, wireless cameras, uh, wireless phones that go across your house. Not cell phones. Cell phones will not cause interference. But our wireless telephones for your landline can. Any device that uses a 2.4 gigahertz frequency can cause interference on your network. To fix these issues, you can try moving your phone to a different part of your house so the wireless signals don't cross. You can try getting a Wi-Fi extender, like one I'm going to show you in a later video. You can 
move your router or get a different telephone. They have many phones that use special frequencies that aren't 2.4 gigahertz so you can get a 5 gigahertz phone or well, different frequencies phones they won't interfere in your network at all the easiest way to start troubleshooting would be to unplug your wireless phones cameras anything don't run your microwave anything else wireless in your house unplug it so it's not on just leave your router on and if that fixes your problem your interference is most likely what's causing you to drop your internet across your house or causing a bad connection. Now if the first steps didn't work, make sure you have a computer connected through wired to your router. Open up a new web browser and it should be on the bottom of most routers. If not, you can go to run again type in cmd and bring up this black box right here when you type in that you type ip config all one word you will come up with all this all these numbers the number you want to look for will be default gateway this is your router that this is the number right here, 192.168.1.1. It's the number you want. Once you have that, you close it. Come back here. Go in your address bar of your browser. Type 192.168.1.1. It will bring you to your router login screen. Most routers are defaulted. Username is admin. Uh, Password, sometimes they have no password, sometimes the password is password, sometimes the password is admin. All routers are different. It should if it doesn't say in the manual, you should be just type in your model number of your router into Google and you should find somewhere it shows you your login information to your router. Or if not, if it's not on the bottom of the router already. But you will go log in. Once you're here you will see all these settings. Go through your main setup again, which I'm not going to do, but you can go to your wireless and go to setup, and then go to wireless settings right here. Once there, you should see something such as wireless network setup wizard. Over here. Next, you have your network name. Mine's Speranza Home. That's whatever you're, you're going to see your network as, your SSID. For security, I would recommend not doing WEP if your router has that. Do a minimum of WPA. WPA tends to be more compatible. WPA2 is the most secure, but Sometimes you have compatibility issues. If you, if none of the other solutions have worked so far, try using just WPA for your connection security, or just follow the instructions here. I'm just going to keep WPA2. For the password, I'm just going to put random numbers. But you're, it's recommended to have at least eight characters with numbers, letters, maybe even a couple of capitals. Just thrown in there. Have at least eight characters. They'll be mixed up to have a fairly strong password. See, eight to sixty-three. Now you click next. You have your password right here. Make sure you write this down and put it in a safe place. It shows your encryption type. You might want to write this down. You might just write all these three lines down: your SSID name, your encryption type right here, and your password on that same piece of paper. You would click, you would click save, but I'm just going to click cancel. Once you have those settings, go back in the windows, reconnect to your new configured network, and see if it drops. If it doesn't drop, your problem is fixed. If it does, continue watching. If you continue to have con connection issues, there might be a manual option 
in your wireless settings, click on that. And you'll have manual settings you can configure for your wireless. Sometimes you can change your channel. If you change your channel of your wireless frequency, that could cause less interference with devices or other networks. If your mode right here could possibly be causing drops. I have mine set to NBNG wireless net technologies. The less wireless technologies you enable, the less chance you're going to have any problems. B and G is usually the majority of routers older routers have. Old newer routers are going to have B, G, and N unless they're really cheap. But if you have issues with B, G, and N enabled, try going to B and G. If you still have issues, try just going to B. But otherwise, if those doesn't fix your issues, then you could try also going back to WPA if you haven't already. Or just stay at WPA personal. If for some reason your network still won't say connected right here, and it says like disconnected or connecting or some other error, that are connected with limited connectivity. Go down to change advanced settings. Go into wireless networks. You will actually delete the network. In my case, I'm not going to. But then you can click add. Once you click add, you'll come up with this. That piece of paper you wrote down all the information before, you're going to need. Type in your SSID. I would keep this unchecked to make sure it connects. Change your encryption type. Actually, first go to whatever it is. Mine, in this case, is WPA2. Yours might be WPA or a different type. Check the encryption type. It should have been right after what you wrote down. Have that and click OK once you have your network. Once you try and connect to that network, it will ask you for a password. To do the same thing in Windows 7, you will go down to your network icon, right click it, open Network and File Sharing Center. Once there, you will go up here where it says manage wireless networks. You will see a similar window and click add. Click add, you manually create network profile. And you fill out the same info network name, security type, encryption type, and security key. And it should connect the same. You sh should have a less of a chance of connection problems in Windows 7 as well. Windows 7 has much better networking than, than XP did. And this is also works the same in Vista as well. You should now be able to connect to your Wi-Fi network. If not, you might try a different wireless adapter or a different router. If, thanks for watching my video, and please subscribe. <laughs>